So my name is Mathilde, uh, I'm a student on the Masters uh, at IFM uh, doing uh, accessory design. Before IFM I did a BA uh, in London at uh, Central St. Martins in women's wear uh, and then I had the opportunity during this time uh, to go on an internship here and uh, I went to Louis Vuitton in uh, the bag design department and I was doing uh, show bags and that was really the crossroads for me. Uh, that's what made me uh, want to study bags uh, and uh, accessories in general full time. Uh, I really fell in love with it at this point. I love the relationship that you entertain with uh, manufacturers, with the people that prototype. The stuff you design, it's beautiful to, to, to be able to see this uh, beautifully crafted with this um, you know, real expertise. I think it's that that made me uh, want to go into accessories, bags in particular. At the moment, I'm uh, finishing my master's collection. So I've been working uh, on this since the beginning of the year. I uh, decided to focus on uh, new technologies and the emergence of the metaverse. And I'm trying to really crossbreed this with uh, accessories which have this uh, long-standing history of being like a very craft-oriented. And I'm trying to, to rejoin those two worlds. For me, there's no real uh, there's no real division between physical, real life, I guess, objects and uh, virtual objects. I love augmented reality because it's a mixed reality uh, where you have virtual and physical elements. I think we're really go going to go in into that direction more and more, where this division is going to become more fluid. Um, and I think for uh, somebody who studies design, for a designer, it's really fascinating to be able to work with uh, virtual means of production because it allows you to design for aesthetics only if you wish uh, and to sort of defy the, the laws of gravity if you want. It gives you a tremendous amount of freedom. And uh, I think it's, it's always very exciting to be able to, to create um, something that would be impossible in real life. At the moment, uh, I'm uh, in the making phase. So, you know, as you can imagine, the design process um, is, a certain, is, a, is a part of the collection. Uh, then you do a bunch of experimentation. And now we're really uh, in the last meters, if you will, where we're really um, yeah, we're, we're making things and we're starting to see things uh, come together. So it's a very satisfying time of the collection. I think one of the things that I really appreciate at IFM as well is uh, in something that I didn't completely expect uh, because it's quite rare for a school to, to have this, but it's industry connection. This, this school to, was, uh, is uh, surprisingly well, I mean surprisingly for me because I didn't know it was possible to be that well connected to the industry because usually it's quite a big step, you know, uh, when, you're, when you go from being a student to entering the industry. It's a hard industry to enter. There aren't that many places. And I think IFM is very good at facilitating this uh, by incorporating also sort of real life experience in the program. In the juries, we have designers that come in that work for brands that give us very raw feedback as well. Hands down, my highlight was we had the opportunity to get one of our bags uh, manufactured in Italy with Gab Group, uh, which uh, welcomed us for a couple of days in their factory, gave us a visit, and that was that was amazing. I really like. Uh, I, I absolutely loved that experience because it's you, you find this experience again of you know this expertise that they have and you come there with a the design and they offer you a number of different things, um, options for finishings, things like this. You learn so much from this and also from just seeing, you know, we visited the factory. Uh, so we were able to see how they manufacture those, you know, those other luxury bags for well, big brands I won't mention. But and, yeah, and, and that's also quite inspiring for your own processes. Normally what's next is uh, we go on to internship for six months to validate our masters. So we've already had an open day, so we've met a couple of brands. Um, our masters was met with quite a bit of enthusiasm from uh, the HR departments. So uh, that's very exciting as well. Uh, so now we're uh, in communication, all of us with uh, different brands to, yeah, get this internship. Thank you.